So the question is to tilt or not to tilt. And what I'm referring to is putting panels on a framing system that is either parallel to the roof, so flush to the roof, or on an angle so that you get the optimum uh, orientation or, or angle to the sun. So why would you use tilts? And the short answer is that you use tilts because you can extract a higher amount of kilowatt hours from a system by using tilts. Uh, the sort of level of increase could be anywhere from 5 to 10 percent depending on what your actual flush level was versus the tilts. But in Sydney for example an optimal uh, angle or orientation is north and, uh, and, uh, and uh, at that your optimal tilt is 25 or 28 degrees thereabouts. But you can't always achieve that. Does that matter? Not as much as you think. So um, people use tilts uh, at the start of solar. So when I say the start of solar, the start of popular solar in Australia, which was say 2008, 2010, because panels were so damn expensive. They were approximately six to ten times the cost that they are now. So it was worthwhile doing absolutely everything you could to milk every last bit of power out of those panels. Which is why if you drive around you might see houses with a tiled roof um, sort of facing east-west, but then pe people have put tilts on those and it looks incredibly awkward. That probably made sense at the time. The best practice now is simply to put them flat on roof. So just as a, an idea what we're talking about is that if you've got a, um, I'll tell you where it matters the most. Where it matters the most is if you've got uh, either an industrial roof, which can be incredibly flat, anywhere from sort of two to seven degrees, or you've got an architecturally designed home that has a, a metal roof just in a nice uh, soft fall. And sometimes you get a five or seven degree pitch on those as well. If you wanted to put on a system that got the maximum amount of power out of every panel, you would use tilts like this. So there's a framing system. The reason to not use a tilt is kind of indicated here. You've got, you have to have a lot of space in between them. Otherwise, when the sun hits, it actually shades the, the previous one. If these are bunched too close, you actually end up uh, killing the production of the solar system. So, uh, best practice is nowadays to go flat on roof unless you've got an incredibly small angle. Um, for industrial, there are uh, framing systems that let us get, say, a 10 or 15 degree angle, which means we can actually put panels still quite close to each other uh, without this self-shading thing happening. Um, always happy to talk about the merits of any individual situation, but uh, typically we would not use tilts. Mm -hmm.